Well, hello, everyone. Are we live already? Yeah, we are oh, live. Sweet. We are rolling, baby. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to... Wild Things Found. Wild Things Found. He's the first wild one, and I'm the second wild one, so... We decided to do an episode out here by our pool. Yeah. Uh, Welcome. Just to give you a different view and to get us some vitamin D. Very important to have your vitamin D. Um, I remember drinking Sunny D when we were younger, but... Oh, gosh, yeah, and I hated the taste of it. I just, I couldn't stomach it. I don't know why. I felt like it was too thick, but that's the autism in me, I guess, right? Yeah. <laughs> so... We're going to talk a little bit about the Wim Hof method. Method. That's his name, right? Wim. Wim Hof. That's W Y M. Okay. And then H O F F, I believe. H O F F. We posted him on our last um, uh, episode. Just a little introduction on who he is and what he has done. But uh, go ahead, babe. Well, we tried it this morning, and. We definitely recommend it for all of you to try. It seems to get your body temperature lowered mm -hmm. really quickly. Like you start kind of shivering, kind of feel a tingling sensation. Mm -hmm. And it also seems to rush blood to your brain into yeah. your other organs. Uh, it kind of has to do with a lot of breathing in, out, quickly. And then you do a hold your breath for first, it's 30 seconds, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then you do the again for about 30. And then you hold your breath again for a minute. And then you do the again. And then you hold it for a minute and a half. And that's just the beginning portion of it. Yeah, it's a repetition of that. What, how many times? Three to four times, right? It was three. Mm -hmm. And then after every time that you hold your breath, you release at the bottom and then you breathe in again and you hold it at the top for 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. Which I will say, uh, the first time I did that, uh, which was today that we tried it this morning, um, I, I was telling Benji, I was feeling lightheaded at first. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of like started taking more shallow breaths because they said, take a deep breath and make it all the way to your stomach, right? So I'm like, but I couldn't. So then afterwards, I was A-OK. -okay. My body was adapting very fine. Then next thing you know, I started getting a pain here in my left side of my chest. However, it wasn't my heart. It was a muscle, which mm. means I had not been getting enough oxygen and to that muscle up here for the muscles and that means i need to hydrate so later on i will go ahead and post a couple of uh, the beverages that we are enjoying today yeah um i am currently in a fasted state mm -hmm. i started last night at 8 p.m as i said that i would mm -hmm. it was kind of tough because we had some dessert that was brought home from our Easter celebrations uh, with the family that again. was sent it. And uh, so I was like, oh, I really want the cookies and stuff, but it was 8 p.m. So I was like, nope, can't do it. Yeah, I'm proud of him for doing that because I would have been like, eh, maybe one more wouldn't hurt. Yeah. So I stopped at 8 p.m. and I'll be going until Wednesday at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, currently, I'm not feeling much different than I typically would because it's only been 12 what what time is it? Uh, it's like around one thirty. We need a Let's clock see. in our st uh, one thirty. So oh, I'm good. Twelve five eight. So it's been thirteen hours. So not much, not, not much bad time. At all. I mean, some people would think that's a long time. Yeah, I do. Uh, I mean, I'm a foodie and I like to eat. So, but I mean, that includes you know, sleep. Mm -hmm. Um, the eight hours of sleep. Which I think we got like six last night. We didn't get eight because our cat's been crazy lately due to the fact of the... She's been challenging. We think we think it has to do with the eclipse, but that's our opinion. <laughs> it's just her little redhead. <laughs> yeah. 
but going back to the breathing technique, I definitely suggest that everyone try it. We'll link it again on this video. Oh, yeah. Um, and we'll continue to, to see how that affects our mental state. To me, it kind of gave me a little energy boost and a little bit of clear thinking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That blood rush to the brain. Mm -hmm. So kind of a natural way of... I guess what he's trying to do is kind of get us to have that ice bath feeling without the ice bath first. Yeah. And then our body's already conditioned for that. Well, for that and what you were saying is it rushes blood to places that, you know, normally don't get that much amount of, you know, blood and oxygen. Like, for example, whenever um, you're upside down or you raise your feet... You know, there are certain uh, bloodway passages that are open so that they can go to the rest of the body. So that definitely is very helpful. Yeah, for sure. And like I said, like I woke up with a headache this morning mm -hmm. uh, due to, I think, we were eating like a lot of sugary stuff yesterday. And we don't typically do that. Yeah, I think it was just the sugar. So I think rush. the sugar kind of throw me off like a sugar crash almost. but after doing the deep breathing and all that my headache kind of went away which is interesting yeah yeah so much so like he was feeling so good after that that he did it again yeah i did i did the <laughs> He's like, method oh, again I feel great i was like oh you can do that <laughs> which which that's sometimes my issue is that like when something works i want to just do it like over and like i want to do like the that method just like all day yeah and see how how much I can get. And that's kind of like the shaman in me. That's kind of like the shamanic thing is like, I want to just keep doing it until I reach mm -hmm. a certain level of consciousness to where I almost like, you know, faint <laughs> because I'm doing it for so long. My goodness. Yeah. Um, uh, it takes a, a tremendous amount of work uh, with yourself, with your mind and with your surroundings, your environment um, to be a shaman. And it's it, it's a lot of um, what's it called uh, of commitment that you have to make to your lifestyle and how you approach your spirituality, however it is that you want to. So I commend you for that. It's not an easy uh, path to be in, but that's the path that you chose. So I commend you for that. Yeah, it's a lot of self sacrifice, but. It benefits you in the end so much more than you would ever imagine. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's kind of like sacrificing the stuff in the moment to kind of overall help you mm -hmm. in the spiritual realm of things. Yeah. Um, I am getting very hot. Um, I had spoken to you guys and like i think it was the second video about the body types in ayurvedic um holistic ways of healing and i am a pita um and essentially that just means i'm fire uh that's one of my elements and it's it, it's prevalent in my zodiac signs as well and everything so it all kind of just you know it just aligns and connects but i feel the heat so much faster than he does yeah and I went ahead and I did a little dip in the in the pool with my toes just to check the temperature and it was pretty cold. But right now my body's like, yeah, you better go get you some something with ice because What's that Disney sweating. movie with the with the red guy with the anger? Ele not elemental, oh, but um, uh, mm, I can't think of it. Yeah, I know. Because elemental just came out and I'm elemental, confusing. Elemental, yeah, two. I know. But with Inside the, Out. Inside Out. Inside Out. Great movie. Yeah. With emotion and stuff, but you're more of the red guy. I'm more of, uh, yeah, kind of very fiery. Uh, so don't get Karen guy. mad. When she gets mad, she does have get fiery and she starts speaking in Spanish. <laughs> so And anything else that I can find in yeah. my reservoir. And tongues. Spanish and tongues. And tongues. I don't know. <laughs> um, but it's kind of cool to see as her husband because... You want someone with that fire because when that fire is directed the right way, it can really be beneficial. Fire gets um, things going. Yeah. 
So, and that's why they say that, you know, fi whenever you're thinking about fire and you usually think of romance and passion and all that good stuff. Um, but also, like he was pointing out, it could also be a dangerous volcano, you know, so it's just, eh. And my journey in finding the, the balance and all that is inner workings, working on myself, um, working on how to make sure that I'm bringing that nice fun fire that, you know, you do at the beach with your friends and that you see in movies and people gather around making s'mores and all that. Yeah. The, the good, approachable, warm fire, not the burn down a house kind of fire. So it took a lot of years to come to the realization that, number one, I needed to cool down and tone it down. And then now I'm learning balance, balance in the fact that I need that passion, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. I need to be able to learn to tune it in whenever I need it and turn it down whenever it's not needed so it doesn't consume myself and the ones around me. So. Yeah, and, I, and me being the water sign that I am, I can always cool you down too. Mm. Well, you're not water. More air. You're, you're air and earth. earth. Sorry. You're fine. I, I'm still, we're still learning a lot about this kind of stuff, but <laughs> I just assumed I was water because I love water so much, but that's the earth sign in me, I believe. Could be. So. It could be, but I mean, there's a lot of things that, that make up a person, you know, you're a multifaceted, you know, being, so it has not, not just to do with, you know, astrology and everything. Um, but yeah. Anyways, um, today we came out here to give you a different view. Also, we needed the vitamin D, um, which again, it is a 100% free way of getting your vitamin uh, without having to spend $56 on a bottle and having to, I'm sorry, but those pills are huge. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't do well, that. It also so. helps that we're in Florida, so we can come out here yeah. any day of the year. That's pretty very much. true. And do it if you're not from Florida, you might have to go to a tanning bed or to you might you might have to have a light in your house like they sell those mm -hmm. those um, lights for the houses like for people in Alaska and stuff. Yeah, but um, one thing is when I was going to school to become an esthetician, I haven't practiced in years, but we were studying about how. You know, the rays, the sun's rays actually penetrate our skin and all that good stuff, right? I have to know that. Um, well, I did not know that even on the cloudiest of days, you can still get penetration from the sun. As long as there's sun out, you can still get penetration from the sun. So you don't need, you know, a cloudless day like the one that we have here. Um, all you need is just to step outside for a few moments, even if that's just sipping your coffee um, or going walking to get the mail, um, you know, however it is that you can. Like you said, not everybody is blessed with this um, gorgeous weather that we have, but there are different methods of getting it as well. So, and if you are doing those vitamins, keep going, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, for sure. Um. Did you want to talk a little bit about the drinks that we're drinking right now? Yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and put some in the uh, video because uh, I already made um, the cut the cuts for them, the cots. <laughs> um, but I don't know if you can see. This one is purely peppermint tea that I made earlier today. It has um, cucumber and a little bit of lemon and I infused the water as well with some kiwi um, because I feel like since we're going to be outdoors, we had already planned to be out here, we need something that's going to keep us feeling cool internally and nothing like peppermint and hydrating, you know, fruits and herbs to go ahead and do that. There's absolutely no sugar in there. Benjamin is not taking any bites of those fruits. He's just drinking the water. 
Um, yeah. I, however, will be doing that. I decided to do a uh, water, well, liquid fast, um, which is going to be over by the time that we're pretty much done with this. So around three or four. So you're going to eat a meal? Three or I'm going to eat dinner, but it's going to be a light dinner. Okay. Yeah. So it's because, I mean, like we were saying before, we we eat two meals a day. Yeah. Um, and it starts around 11, and then we eat a very early dinner. We start eating. I start prepping dinner around 4.30. And if it's not 4.30, it's between 5 and 6 that we're actually sitting down and eating. And then at 7 o'clock, we're digesting all that. So, Yeah, it was a it was an um, adjustment that we made because of my illosomy because we were eating later in the day, in the night, and I was having a lot of accidents um, overnight that we were waking up to. So I would yeah. have like a leak in my bag or... Because, you know, if, if you're asleep, then you're not able to wake up and change your bag or, yeah. or empty your bag. So we found out the best way would be to eat before 6 p.m. and to just continue to do that. And we pretty much stuck to that. And it's really helped us as far as, as it's really helped me as far as not having leaks like on the bed. And all. it was just a real disaster there for a little bit. So it's a big life adjustment. But... Once you get used to it, it's actually really beneficial because it lets your body know it's time for bed. And Yeah. Um, and not, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you're not like craving it. I'm not craving sugary stuff late at night or snacks because I know I'm not, it's not beneficial for me. So. And you've been feeling lighter. Yeah. Physically, which aids in the whole entire trying to fall asleep. Mm hmm. Um, because when you have a big, heavy belly, that's the last thing that your body wants to do. They want to get that fuel. Well, know, on my fasted days, too. Sorry. But on my fasted days, too, like, uh -huh. I'll fall asleep easily tonight. Yeah? Uh, way easier go. than my other. Like, I'll be in a deep sleep because I won't have much fuel. That's great. So, hopefully I can stay up enough, uh, late enough to at least watch the Iowa and LSU game tonight the women play it's but, gonna be so exciting um after that i'm probably gonna hit the hay early because i will be pretty tired by then <laughs> and tomorrow we're supposed to go on a hike mm -hmm. so we're going to bring that to you. Tune in for that. Uh, and that'll be a fasted hike for me. So yeah. that'll be like my first fasted hike. So that should be cool because I'll be burning um, mostly fat on that. And mm -hmm. I just want to experiment with that to see the benefits of it and to see how I can do it. Now, it's only a two-mile trail, I believe. Yeah. So last time we did a 7.1 mile, but we'll go. We'll probably walk around a bit. We might do like two times around just to at least get five miles yeah um or as much as we can um but yeah regardless we're gonna be there i hope that uh you guys tune in uh tomorrow for that video it's gonna be very exciting we're gonna go to a completely different location um and we're gonna continue our talks and our walks and i definitely do hope that you guys are actually, you know, getting something out of the videos that we do and the content yeah. that we create. That definitely is something that I'm using the word definitely a lot. I just We're certainly that. getting a lot out of it, I think. We are. Because it's good to reflect. Like, yeah. It's good for us to talk about all this stuff in a professional kind of sense. Like we're like actually in front of the camera. We're having to break it down. So it's like. We're kind of like structuring our lives better because of the, yeah. the videos, I think, that we're able to. Oh, yeah. And like me, like I'm not going to like, I can't give up on the fast because I'm telling everyone right now that I'm doing it until Wednesday at 8 a.m. Social pressure. So everyone's going to hold me accountable, <laughs> not just you. Which is awesome. But everyone that's watching. So right. It, it helps to kind of reinforce that. 
And on my side, it helps with the creativity flow and the wanting to get out there and continue to create content, continue to be uh, find different places to go and trying to create, you know, the atmosphere where we're going to be at, whether it's at home or outdoors. So, yeah. Um, and you guys got to see a lot exciting. of... Uh old Florida on our last hike mm -hmm. and I think you'll get to see a lot of old Florida on this hike as well yeah uh, supposedly there's a lot of like old docks and bridges and stuff mm -hmm. and potential for, for wildlife again so yeah. probably more more gators is what I'm expecting to see well supposedly it links up to Lake Jessup I oh believe. okay so yeah those of you that don't know Lake Jessup is where they <laughs> actually bring all the alligators that they find and like like if they found a gator in this pool the fish and wildlife would come get it and then they would literally release it in lake jessup so it's kind of like home to a lot of gators mm -hmm. um thousands of gators so that'll be cool if we get to see that oh yeah um and depending how close it is to that other place maybe we can stop by the um what's that the black hammock and show okay. them that yeah if we're close we'll yeah. see that'll we'll be see, great because it is it is supposedly in longwood which is not it's not that far from not here too far um we want to get to go like we, we kind of started this as a we're going to sit down and reflect on our day but now we're kind of getting out and seeing more stuff mm -hmm. and we want to show our subscribers more stuff around so i think we'll continue to do that continue to show you guys like you know different parts of Florida. We want to take a trip to Casadega and show you that. We want to take, which is near and dear to our hearts. It's a spiritualist camp. Um, also, some of the places where we go to get some of the things that we use, the products that we use on an everyday basis, like our mushrooms, um, also our herbs and everything like that. So definitely lots of good and exciting things to, um, to be coming your way. Yeah. But I am going to go ahead and myself take a little break because I'm getting very hot. So I'm going to try to dip into the pool and uh, I'm going to read a little bit. We'll see. <laughs> Welcome to Psilocybin, an easy guide to growing and experiencing the potential of magic mushrooms. Hi, everyone. Hello again. So we decided to give you a uh, different view here. It's starting to get a little hot. So, um, but continuing our talks, um, we actually took a little break and I took a dip in the pool. It was very relaxing. And what I wanted to do was just remind you guys that sometimes you forget that if you do live in an apartment complex, um, you know, you have free resources such as the pool, the gym. Um, there are some people like Benjamin who doesn't like to use the, the gyms that are provided in these uh, apartment communities only because he's more of a, I want to be influenced by the environment and the energy and all the awesomeness that provides with just like the planet fitnesses and the LA fitnesses and all that stuff. Right. Yeah. I need to increase motivation. I think, I think it's more community for me. So like if mm -hmm. everything's more community with me, so like if I'm able to see a bunch of people working out and I can like see them at the gym and say, Hey, how you doing? Good to see you again. Like that reinforces me going more than just like me going by myself to a gym with, weights I, that's why like i've always never been able to have like a gym at my house right or whatever but i'm the other uh kind of personality that uh, if i'm by myself that's like the perfect environment for me um because i need complete and total quiet um and that's for just about anything like when i really need to like focus or anything like that it's one of those where it's just like i need quiet quiet on the set people yeah, I think different people like different things when it comes to that. Yeah. Um, but like for me, I just need that motivation of seeing other people do it. Having other people kind of watch me do it too kind of helps because I know people are watching. So I got to put in that 110 percent. 
Right. Which should come, you know, it should come naturally, but sometimes we do need that extra push. Absolutely. I know I definitely do, especially when it comes to the detoxing and the fasting. I'm honestly, I'm only doing it because Benji has started it and it's, you know, so much easier when you have somebody else do it for you um, and kind of like inspire you and that kind of gets the ball going, which is a very neurodivergent thing. Um, I've come to find out uh, in ADHD, that's what uh, most people find very helpful. So, um, but that was just a very quick reminder to, to find your free resources. We actually have a library card that we like to use um, because we can get free books. Yeah. Free books. You don't have to go to the Barnes and Noble and spend, you know, $50 on two books you can actually go to the library and most likely find something just as good or even better than what that. I thought was cool about the library is a lot of people don't probably know today's world, but they actually have eBooks that you can rent yeah. and even audio books. Mm -hmm. uh, I was listening to an audio book the other day that was actually from the Seminole County library right here. That's crazy. Which was pretty cool. Um, this book that I'm reading right now is on psilocybin mushrooms. I wanted to share something about it because there's a misconception about it. Well, first of all, there's a misconception about mushrooms overall that everyone's taking them to be trippy and to have all these psychedelic experiences mm -hmm. when a lot of it is just used as microdosing. So you're microdosing for your depression, for your anxiety, for mental health reasons. And I've always been told by my doctors that I can't use that. Um, I have to use SSRIs in mm -hmm. place. And that if with my antidepressants and SSRIs, I can't take the mushrooms too. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting that it says in this book that the mushrooms will not give you serotonin syndrome. So right. it, it can, um, you can actually take microdosing and not it won't give you serotonin syndrome and like we you know we're not doctors but from what it says here it's you know a, a misconception that serotonin syndrome is is actually caused by by that so serotonin syndrome is very rare yeah and just uh, as a quick side note that's what you've been doing intuitively before you even read about this well, it also states in here that you should, if you want to use the microdosing, you should try to slowly wean yourself off of medications such as SSRIs or benzodiazepines, which I have been doing for years right. because it's been a journey, mm -hmm. uh, a journey like no other to get off of that stuff. Right. But we're close. We're like right at that threshold. We're really close to getting to where we're going to completely go off the big pharma and go just all in on natural stuff, which it's refreshing for me to hear that you can actually start the natural stuff and still use the pharmacological stuff because you won't have so much withdrawal. And that's the big, that's the big concern I think for a lot of people is that withdrawal. Cause if you go without the pharmaceuticals, there is withdrawal and that's set up. I think personally from the pharmaceuticals, to get you to continue to buy and use the pharmaceutical drugs that are prescribed by doctors because that's exactly. making them money. So yeah. turn back to the earth, Psych turn back to the natural earth and what it provides. And it provides everything that we need Absolutely, from herbs that will hydrate us to mushrooms that will help us in anxiety and depression to the wind, the rain, the food, I mean, it talks in here about growing mushrooms and how if you grow your own mushrooms, it's almost like when you slaughter your own cow, you get to know the mushroom, you get to know it and you, it's more of a spiritual experience because you know what you're doing mm -hmm. as opposed to just going and getting it offline from someone who could have fentanyl in it or whatever. Right. So you, you do it on your own and you really, if you're able to captivate the, your own mushroom, then you're able to go through that experience responsibly as well yeah. so it's almost like owning a pet so that was pretty cool i think it's kind of um what you were just saying it's kind of like intentional living you mm -hmm. know it's part of that 
part of uh, intentional living is knowing exactly what it is that you are consuming uh, from everything from food to drinks to the shows that you watch uh, to the things that you put outside of your body, the lotions, the everything, everything. Um, and who you listen to, the kind of music that you listen to, what kind of videos do you watch, everything. Yeah. So that definitely is something that is practiced in a lot a lot of um uh, it's not religions but like uh, communities out there um i've been looking at the uh, native american um, communities as well and kind of looking into how it is that they work and it's it's very much like that now i'm no expert in it by any means necessary but if you are very interested in that i definitely have um have the desire to let you know go ahead and try to you know try to do the research and all that information because it's you mean on the reservations and stuff the reservations the way that they the, the way that they live the way that they they're trying to get back to the ways that they used to live as well well i think and that's that's kind of fleeting too because we saw some specials on youtube about, yeah about the other side of it yeah and how some reservations like are like really into like hip hop and gun mm -hmm. culture and drugs and and a lot of them are hooked on pharmaceuticals right and have diabetes and just so yeah and that was in my belief that was set up by the government yeah to basically control those societies mm -hmm. just like they're doing with us but on a smaller scale and probably they probably did tried them out first mm -hmm. unfortunately um, you know to control them and to make them stay on this reservation and to make them eat these high you know high sugary foods and to give them a subsidy of however much a month so they'll stay in their zone yeah which i'm learning more and more it's like if the government gives you a check every month you will sell, settle for that amount of money. You won't strive for what you what your worth is. That's what the training is supposed to do as far as I'm concerned. Right. You know, and yeah, that's an excellent point. You know, um, that's why we are huge advocates of being self-sufficient because if you know at least what you stand for, you're not going to fall for just about everything out there. You know, you're going to learn to question things, and it's good to question things. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes it, it's regarded in society as being a pest, being annoying, you know. Uh, but I have come to the realization is in the fact that the more that I question, the more I learn. And the more I learn, the more that I can guide myself into living the life that I want to live. Very well stated. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. We're always learning. We're always asking questions. We're always asking why. Yep. And never stop asking why. Because yeah. if you settle for whatever it is, then that's what it is. Right. That's how you ask the questions. Why is this that way? Mm -hmm. So, and I mean, it goes back to 10 years ago when I was put on all these, all this medicine, all this crap by Big Pharma to say, hey, you're having anxiety disorder. Let's put you on all this crap. And I didn't even look into it. I just believed the doctors and what they said and started taking it. And it completely changed my life for the worse. Um, made me lose a lot of stuff. And now I'm finally like awake to see what, <laughs> what the real reason was. It was all about the money. It was all about me coming back and spending that money and the insurance companies getting that money. Mm -hmm. And it's like, we don't need insurance companies for the herbs. We don't need insurance companies for... Right for the for the mushrooms mm -hmm. you know we insurance companies are ruining our society in my opinion i agree Things that are good for you really think about it friendships community um your health air movement things that really don't require a lot of money that really don't require a lot of you know effort i mean a long time ago i remember a really good cardiologist said to me 
it's all about movement for you, Karen. And you don't have to go to the gym and, you know, become this person that's constantly going to the gym or whatever. If that's what you want to do, go ahead and do it. But what I would recommend to be heart healthy is eat a decent diet, a really good decent diet with the greens, vegetables. You already know you're a grown woman. Go ahead and incorporate the things that are good for you. Limit the sugar. Limit the lethargic, you know, lifestyle. And just make sure that you're moving. So anything that's more than 10 minutes of a walk is even better. But the minimum 10 minutes of a walk, yeah. that's all that I would recommend. And sometimes whenever you're going through this, which is what we are now going into society, which is starting to waking up to the fact that so many things have been um, hidden to us as a society from these big corporations, you start to not trust, you know, the government, the corporations, sometimes even each other, you know, start not to trust, you know, your own way of thinking and how you thought, you know, you were right. And all of a sudden the drug has been swept underneath you, mm -hmm. but I'm here to let you know that it, it you're going to go through that, but it's okay. It's a natural process to go through that just make sure that you don't stay there because you're going to drive yourself crazy now we're all about mental health and the tips that i have come to um to use and to use every day in my life and i want to share with regards to that is everything in moderation don't overwhelm yourself with everything that's happening obviously you don't want to turn a blind eye but you also want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself because self-care as a person who used to be a people pleaser is something that is monumental yeah. and almost foundational, you know, because I can't take care of anybody else if I have not taken care of myself. And I'm not going to put that responsibility on my husband or anybody else because at the end of the day, that's my job. I, I'm living with my own body. So my body is my responsibility. My mental health is my responsibility. My spiritual health, my happiness, my responsibility, not anybody else's. You well, know? when it comes to that, I think a big part of what we've changed is we don't watch the news. You know, we don't watch the news because we don't want to hear about a bunch of negative stuff. Yeah. Especially the local news. I mean, all you hear about is just local stuff right around you that's all negative, And it can be just a bunch of gaslighting for what yeah just to get you scared of mm -hmm. driving on an interstate get you scared of going out and actually doing healthy things for yourself getting at, getting you out and you right. know they want to shelter you you know and that's not who we are yeah. we're meant to be out and be social but i feel like the news is always pushing that agenda of okay there's this disease there's that disease there's this person out shooting people there's this person who is robbing people the crime what rates up the mm -hmm. you know just the, fear the, fear fear these people are going to take over our country it's like no if you live in fear more fear is going to come to you if you yeah. live in peace more peace is going to come to you yeah. and we have accepted peace and that's what we get back is peace and the other thing is it takes time and effort to be able to get to that place and when we're saying that you know don't allow all this negativity to get to you we're not saying just constantly be fake happy but mm -hmm. what we are saying is control what you can and whatever feels good for you mentally and your body will respond to that as well your body will let you know hey you know what i'm actually waking up happier now and it then then it's up to you to kind of be like well why is that mm -hmm. you know start becoming your own scientist for lack of a better phrase you have to look into your life as if it's an experiment and start looking at clues and looking at why this why that that is how i got to the mental peace that i have that is how i got to not going from a volcano to a nice warm fire by the beach while you're roasting marshmallows yeah um it hasn't been perfect i'm not saying that i'm you know 
this, you know, but it's a continuous practice. And that's, that's why I want to share these tips with you because if it helped me, it can help you too. It's important to keep that inner child alive. Yeah. You have to rescue that inner child from the darkness. And that's like the first thing that I did when I met Karen is she told me basically that I need to rescue my inner child. So I started doing stuff that I hadn't done in years. Like I started, yeah. you know, watching basketball again. I started getting back into sports. I started to actually want to play golf, want to, um, you know, look at nature and go back into nature. Um, different things that I haven't done in forever. And it's important for you to find out what you did like as a child and, you know, re-embrace that. Get into that yeah. because a lot of us, we like something as a child and then we say, all right, it's no longer for me. I'm an adult. I can't do that anymore. But mm -hmm. you can. You have the freedom to do what you love. Yep. You know what I mean? Like we're, yeah. we're conditioned to stop dreaming and stop doing. It's like, no, that's not what it's about. It's about finding that inner child, rescuing it, and then using that as motivation every day. I mean, that's the happiest people on earth are the people who have that inner child still in them. They still get excited to go to a basketball game. They still get excited when, you know, when they are opening up a Christmas present. They still get excited when they see a sunset or a sunrise. They still get excited when they see a firework show. Yeah. Those who are miserable are the ones who are not excited about those kind of things, who yeah. are not excited about new experiences and trying new things. Absolutely. That's a that's a great point because you're right. It all starts from within. And you just have to make sure that you are giving as much energy as you can to yourself and your self-development than you're giving to anything and everyone else. Now, again, everything in moderation, but you know what I mean. You have to be able to put yourself first. And as neurodivergents and people pleasers that we were, it's kind of hard to make that boundary for myself. Oh, yeah. You know, to be like, well, no, I'm going to go ahead and take some time. I used to be very codependent. And now, if my husband says, I'm going to go golfing with my dad, boom that's that i no longer feel the need to go well wh why or well how long are you going to be there and that's n not to say that you know if you're doing that that you have the same issue that i do but my personal issue was controlling and being um codependent and it came from childhood experiences that i had and i had to work on that just like you said and making sure that I took care of whatever it is that I was lacking as a child helped me become the happy person that I am now. Yeah. Yeah. So keep that inner child alive. Like Peter Pan, like Peter Pan is not that crazy. Mm -hmm. Like It's pretty true, even though, you know, we'll dive into that some other time. Yeah, that's another story. That's really deep, but <laughs> you know, keep that child alive. Yeah. The um, essence of it. And reason we got going on now. It also. really is. Very grateful for this moment. I like to just take some time whenever I am in nature. Like, for example, earlier today, I just sat down and I was going to read my book. But I was like, can I just like take a breath and just appreciate my surroundings for a few? And I did that, took a couple of breaths. I meditated. And here I am just romanticizing life, for lack of a better phrase. And you only get there by stopping and slowing down and looking and slowing yeah. down. I'm just waiting on this breeze to blow over the camera. <laughs> I think I did a pretty good job stabilizing yeah. it there. Yeah. But I think today's uh, episode is going to be a little shorter, right? Yeah, I mean, I I don't think it's for lack of a good quality. I think we have more quality in this episode probably more than any of the other ones. Yeah, um, lots of different things. You know, sometimes the shorter episodes can be the better ones. Yeah. You know. And also, just uh, let us know how we're doing. Let us know if you like the content that we're bringing. Um, 
you are supporting us in a very big way by just watching and liking the content. So again, we want to say a big thank you for that. We uh, also encourage you to continue to watch, to subscribe, and to follow, and to share uh, with your friends or whoever it is that you feel like may um, need this advice or this kind of content, if you think that they're going to relate to that. Uh, we are still trying to find our community, and we're still trying to reach out uh, to people that are very like-minded. Yeah. As us, and we want to continue to cultivate good relationships, even though we're not face to face. We can definitely very much do that. I agree, and it's not going to happen overnight. But mm -hmm. if we don't put content out there, we're never going to get that. Mm -hmm get that uh, community that we're looking for so we're just gonna keep making videos and keep doing what we do and you're more than welcome to follow us on this ride because it's gonna be exciting and I can't wait to see where it takes us yeah we love you guys and Much thanks love. for your love and your support we'll see you on the trail tomorrow see you then bye